He's dead. All right, well, guys, welcome to the team meeting uh, going on. And, um, you know, a lot of things going on in the market, um, you know, coming into May, uh, which means that uh, no telling what's going to happen in the um, in the next month. We haven't heard from the uh, governor yet. Um, the uh, some things to think about coming up is, uh, you know, people are still popping on here. So, um is, is the, as the governor comes forward and starts giving us what happened in May, uh, you know, we're going to be talking as a brokerage. Uh, Lisa really don't have anything updates in this term, in this case. You know, we're going to be talking about open houses again. Uh, no, we don't. Yeah, we don't have any no updates. updates. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you kind of dialogue because Lisa won't. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, you're going to see probably things like how do we do open houses in the future, um, have some training on that. Um, when the when the governor does start you know getting us back into action things like that so um just be uh this is going to be our central place to communicate and if you're not getting the information it's because you're not showing up at the team meetings um, i know there's a lot of fatigue going on uh we're going to talk about our schedule in a little while on what's going on in our schedule in may we're going to be changing our schedule up completely uh just for bold pivot and to uh just be congruent and, and be all in for what May is going to be all about for everybody is going to be um, launching about our business and getting, um, no matter where you were in the month of April, um, May is the time for us to go back and get back re-engaged. Playing by whatever rules they say, May is the month. We've got to get full speed. We've got to go into immersion and get back on track and start thinking about what the future is going to be. So um, without further ado, uh, I do want to see if any of our partners um, are on here. They have any updates. And uh, do you have any updates that would be important to our agents right now uh, relating to where we're at in COVID, things like that? So any of our partners on here that you know about? Heather, Heather, Heather Tumbler. Tumbler. Hey, Hi, everybody. I just wanted to just hope that everybody is healthy and well right now. You know, I'm getting a lot of phone calls from Keller Williams agents and thank you. I'm here to support you. Uh, I'm always also looking for ways to be able to give you some kind of a touch point with your clients. So wanted to remind you that we do have our home maintenance guide that is available. Now this is online. And as long as you go online and you create a, a profile, then you can upload your picture and your logo. Now I made up a little fake Heather's Realty, but this just goes to show what it looks like with your picture and also with your logo as it comes up to the, to the, the top of the maintenance guide. And this is an emailable uh, tool that you can send out to your clients. It's, it's about 16 pages, but it will also pull your contact information of what we have for you online, your phone number, your uh, also actually just your phone number or your office number at the very top of the maintenance guide. So uh, if you see for some reason it's not correct, then let me know because I need to update that for you. So once again, all we do is go to 2-10.com forward slash agent, register for the account. You're going to click on my marketing tools click on the maintenance guide, and we also have a monthly newsletter that you can actually go online and download your picture, logo, and email to your clients too. So if that's helpful in any way, let me know. Uh, any way that I can support you, and thank you, everybody. So uh, anything they need to know what you're seeing right now, I think a lot of times is getting the AC checks done. Um, yeah. Anything else specific right now that just to help me? By the way, those AC checks, everybody, those are good care calls. Yeah. I've been, uh, you know, last weekend was my first weekend where I'm starting to get a lot of air conditioning calls. So I'm actually having uh, another meeting tomorrow morning to just make sure that we are with myself and my advocate to make sure that we are uh, streamlined and everything going business as usual. So just let me know if there's any way that I can help you at, at any point, especially with the air conditioning category. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Heather, for being a great partner. Um, Thank you. Is there anything going on in title that we need to know about relating to COVID-19? Maybe Lisa, if you know anything going on that we need to know, or anybody from Catalina, uh, I just want to use these opportunities to keep people informed on what's going on with title, COVID, signings, things like that. Um, is one of the title reps on right now? Because they could address their- Yeah. Hi, Jessica's this is Kathy. On. 
Hey, Kathy. Hi, just um, real quick. One, I mean, we really don't have anything new, but just to be out there um, clear with everything, the um, our, our county recorder will not allow the remote uh, notaries. So um, even though the state is allowing us to get set up with that, um, the recorder will not accept them. And I don't know how soon that will be because we were the last county in Arizona to get on e-recordings. So it could be the same with the remote online recordings. But I just want to let everyone know that, that the recorder still has to have wet signatures and the title companies are not uh, holding that up. It's just that the recorder won't accept anything else. So that's it for me. Okay, perfect. Good reminder. And that's what I would, that's what the kind of stuff I want to keep bringing to this. So Kathy, thanks for bringing value uh, on there. Are you, uh, at signings, are, are, there, are people required to wear masks? Anything like that? Maybe uh, one of the escrow reps, Jessica, could answer that possibly. I'm not required. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, everybody. Um, but more than welcome to. We do have the glass uh, partition in front. They're signing outside. Um, just a reminder that if anyone needs a uh, notary to be sent somewhere, um, just let your escrow officer know. That will be at our expense. Um, so don't uh, worry about that. And, um, you know, the drive-by signings, they can sign in their car um, and get some of the documents uh, signed ahead of time and notarized through the window. Or, um, like I said, we have the notaries outside of um, each escrow office. So, um, really, you know, whatever is your comfort level, the masks are not, you know, necessarily required. But I've gone to a couple different offices and I see uh, some people wearing them, some people not. So, Got it. I will tell anybody from a personal side is that I carry one around in my bag at all times. And if I figure somebody's uncomfortable, I put it on, believe it or not. Um, and so, I mean, it's, I, I, I don't think I need it. Uh, I mean, I know we have different beliefs around that. If I feel like somebody's uncomfortable, I did it the other day. I carry it with me. Don't use it a lot. And so uh, it's more about other people than it is about me. So if you go in those scenarios, you just it could make people more comfortable. Um, I don't know. Just use your, your own judgment. Just an idea. So, all right. Um, and Jill, do you have anything, uh, uh, Walker, I don't think I saw you on here, Jill. Uh, any mm -hmm. updates that would help our agents knowing what, what you're seeing? Because you're doing a lot of transactions, I know. Uh, still doing a lot. Nothing really has changed um, on that side of it. The one thing that I have seen, though, is appraisals. Appraisals have been seeming like they're delayed or having a hard time right now. I've, Not coming in low. Couple, they're just... I've heard of a couple just this week coming in low. Okay. Yeah, we've been, the ones that I've been working on have been pretty lucky. We haven't had any that have come in low, um, right at value or, um, yeah, always they've just been coming in at value. It's the delay and the appraiser getting out there. Okay. Thank you. So get All them right. ordered quickly. So guys, uh, tell me something. I want to talk, I want to do a little uh, fill in buckets and uh, just kind of, um, you know, what's going, I want to hear some good things going on in this world. Anybody unmute yourself. Tell me something good. Tell me something that's going on out there. Something good that happened to you. Um, I want to hear some positive things. Give me some positive stories. Who wants to go? Hey, David, it's Krista Wells. Hey, Krista. I got a quick, I got a quick one for you. Um, I had a, a seller whose buyer fell out of contract due to losing her job. And we really worked with them. Originally, we were supposed to close on the 9th of April and we allowed them to push to the 30th really work to make make sure that we could get her qualified if we could get her qualified and around the oh i will say about the 10th 13th it all fell apart and it wasn't going to happen but we played very nice in that sandbox and we were accommodating and we really put ourselves out there to be a good seller well we went back under contract over the weekend with a new buyer and I had a request since we had gone through the Binzer period in the whole nine yards. Hey, do you think that that other buyer would allow us to look at the um, old inspection because we're trying to fast track this for the seller so we can close before the, the second of June. And I reached out to the buyers, the first buyer's agent. And I said, can I play love connection between the two of you? 
And they said, because we played nice in the sandbox, they wrote off, hey, we give you consent to share this. And they shared it with the new buyer. And she is not out of pocket for a home inspection. Oh. And we are moving forward on an escalated time scale now. Nice. Great job. I love it. Great job, Krista. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks for coming to the plate and sharing it. All right, who else? I want to hear something good. Tell me something good. I got something good. Dave Kipling. So uh, I have a listing and it went under contract and the lender that they were using, we were having problems with communication. So they decided to switch lenders. She asked me if I knew somebody that was really good. I told her Aaron Leo, we got a hold of him. And in seven days, he got the prequal, uh, all the information, ordered a fast appraisal. It was done yesterday or done uh, Monday, came in yesterday add value, uh, no conditions, and we're moving along. So there's a shout out to Aaron Leo. Great job, I appreciate it, Dave. Yeah, you told me about that one. Thanks for sharing that one. Uh, that's, a, that's a good save right there, so. All right, anybody else, tell me something good. Any any gratitude or fill a bucket you wanna do? Um, I got one I'm gonna do in a minute. Anybody else, any fill a bucket or something good that happened this week? This is the participation part of the program. Hey, David, this is Hope. I'll go ahead and share. Yeah, I have um, the two, two, my two listings are under contract and we're past the Binzer process. So that's good news. Um, and also as I'm reaching out to my sphere, um, I've been hearing a lot of remodels that they're doing and they want to, and they're planning to invite me over. They want me to go over now and they, they're willing for me to go over. I don't know if there's any precautionary things, but it's nice to be asked. Um, so I just thought that was nice that they reached out back to me after leaving a message and saying, we want you to come by and see what we've done. I'm sorry, I lost the last part. Say it again. I, I just thought it was nice that they reconnected with me. I, I left a message last week for a, you know, a care call. And right. they, the person reached out to me and said, we, we'd love to have you over. Yeah, that the care calls work and they start building relationships you wouldn't have. So great job of reaching out. So, all right, anybody else? Yeah. I want to thank Gail. She keeps me um. She keeps me re ready for my appointments. She always tells me that I have appointments when I forget them. <laughs> there you go. Everybody needs a Gail in their life, don't you? So you can say that again. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Fill a bucket for something good. I'll go one more. Yeah, Larry. Thank you. A um, couple of quick things. Appraisal came in at value yesterday on my listing. That's going to go to closing in the middle of next month. And um, the power of planting seeds. Four months ago, a friend of mine in Dallas, Texas said, hey, a friend of mine might be looking in Tucson sometime and just, you know, beware of a phone call from a guy named Lynn that might show up one day. He showed up yesterday in his motor home from Portland. He's going to, uh, um, we're going out looking at houses today. Fantastic. You know, and that's the thing, the work you do, we all say 90 days, but this one a little bit outside of it, it's still that basic principle, isn't it? And so if you went if you went dry and stagnant in the month of April for some reason, you got to know that's going to affect you somewhere down the road. It's the it's that boomerang effect, isn't it? So, great. Uh, well, guys, I want to uh, uh, I want to give a shout out. It's going to be kind of a talking about some things that y'all been seeing us doing things. We move pretty quick because COVID nineteen is that um, some great future that we got coming up, uh, especially on the northwest part of town, which is going to affect both northwest and east side. That is. You know, consolidating the jobs for village office, the OB office is something I've, I've wanted to do since we, uh, since I came back on board in January, February of two years ago. And um, we're starting to step one a little earlier than we had first anticipated because of COVID-19 and some opportunities in that. So, you know, we are, uh, if you've gone to the jobs for village office, you've seen some offices being expanded in there, a lot of construction work in there. And while we're looking at our next location and probably, I, I trust me when I tell you this, the uh, market under 495, which is now referred to as the Jobs for Village office, will be going into the cor or Oracle corridor. And we will be going there. We've got some opportunities and some options to look at. And, um, and so we, uh, we're expediting that process because of COVID-19, believe it or not. And so we will be making a little bit of a double move. We've been very grateful to the agents in Aura Valley understanding what we're doing and this opportunity is in front of us. And, uh, and we're now going to go to that next step. So you see a lot of movement over there at JV. It's uh, we built, we put on seven new offices. Training rooms a little bit smaller, um, and uh, it's going to be some tight energy in there. 
probably going to be busting at the scene before we know it and ready to get moved to a state-of-the-art, more luxurious type um, operation on that Oracle corridor. Exactly where it's going to be yet, we're not sure. Got some options. Um, I'm working hard at it right now, and I've got some great help from some of my great influencers like Danny in the office, et cetera, of helping us. So all the agents, um, appreciate everybody. Our family is, uh, I mean, I've, I honestly, it's, it's, I'm just so grateful to the people I'm business with uh, for doing that. And really grateful for um, Lisa for leading it. She became this, kind of a strategic arm of, uh, of, of coordinating logistics, all doing that. Lisa, did really appreciate her leadership. Heather and Dan, uh, there, Cheyenne, Caitlin, they all, all hands on deck yesterday. They put in probably 12 hours, maybe 13 hours yesterday alone of, of getting stuff done. So big, big shout out to them. Um, it's an opportunity for us. It's a, it's a way for us to go. We're doing a little bit of a double move instead of a single um, and then moving into just where our future is going to be. And it's going to be uh, us operating. The way it benefits the east side is that east side, you're probably going to see the ability for Lisa to be over there more and share her time in both locations. You're going to see me able to share some more time in two locations and a synergistic operation. The new location will have a state-of-the-art training room that can hold 100 people for bold, uh, be able to host events in there, things like that. So just very grateful for them and what they've done and uh, making this move just so smooth. And uh, yeah, as Jody said, excited for the future. It's not comfortable. It's not easy. Some people are driving a little further. I get it. Um, and we're here for the bigger picture. So uh, thank you for everybody in there in there for doing that. So with it, without further ado, uh, Lisa Sullivan, you have the floor for our broker tip. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is talk for just a few moments about the clear cooperation. Uh, I'll be teaching uh, an hour class on this. It was going to be Friday. May switch to tomorrow. Is that correct, David, for the broker hour? Don't know. Okay. Is that what it, oh yeah, Jane. Um, that's for that's not for this week, but for the, for the, the following. Month. Okay, okay. So this Friday from um, 11 to 12 uh, at the Broker Not So Happy Hour, we can devote that entire hour to talking about the clear cooperation policy. It goes into effect May 1st. Um, there are some new status uh, changes coming your way. There's a coming soon that allows you to market within our company and also to other MLS participants, but not to the public. Um, then there's the, the delayed, which of course is like our normal delay status now and then exempt it would not be marketing to anybody at all. Uh, the new policy does state that the minute you do market to the public outside of this, uh, these criteria that it needs to go into MLS within 24 hours. And again, we don't have a lot of time to talk about it right now, but, but Friday, join me Friday from 11 to 12, and we'll spend an hour talking about that. All right, perfect. MCA, do we have any uh, updates for us? We do have one quick update regarding the ACH process. Uh, we are working on training staff to uh, make sure that that goes smoothly. We do have a new form that you'll be using. Uh, you'll no longer send the disbursement authorization that has everybody's names on it to title. There'll be an additional form that we are finalizing that will go to title where you will just put the total commission amount. It states that that check should come to the market centers. And then from there, we will disperse the ACHs out um, as you have requested. Um, if you haven't submitted your ACH form, that's fine. It can always be added later. Um, if you have a bank change, it's just a matter of contacting the MCA to let them know. So we we be sure and deposit that in the correct account. We are looking at a start date for ACHs shortly after transmittal. Uh, my hard start date on that is May the 15th, just to give us a, for sure by then, we will be doing ACHs for those who have requested it. So if there are any questions, you're certainly welcome to email me. And that's all I've got, David. So, I, I, so basically, if they would like to participate in direct deposit, which is ACH, correct? Direct deposit, yes. ACH, are they the same things? They are, yes. Okay. So if you hear ACH, direct deposit, your direct deposit ACH, and if they want to participate, what do they need to do? I know you probably said it, it's going to get very specific. What do they need to do? They, is That's there an okay. email you already sent to them? Yes, we did send out the form for them to complete. If you need that form and you don't, you can't find that email, that's okay. We can, um, Heather and I can both resend that form. You complete the form with your banking information and send that back to us. And then we set that up um, on our side so that it's direct deposited after we deposit the check from title. Okay, got it. Um, another question that came in the chat box, which I think it's worth mentioning, 
is, and I think we put it on hold, Lisa may get more involved in this, and that is when we're making that we're, we already had the plan to go in from dot loop, doc, docu sign to command. Um, we kind of, I don't think we have a new date because COVID-19 kind of threw our plan out the door, didn't it? It did. Um, we're still working behind the scenes and, and as soon as we're ready, we'll launch it. We didn't want to put that on top of everything else going on. We have so many people at home with their kids and stuff that we figured we'd give them a little bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, and I knew the answer was we just kind of put it on hold. You're welcome, Lois. Um, and so now that, you know, I got to be honest, a lot of people, guys, all we really focused on was our agents during the month of April. We didn't want to add a lot of things. We didn't want to add stress. Um, we just wanted to help people make it through April. And I'm, I'm excited April's almost over, uh, personally, to be honest with you. Um, it's just like our, our lives went on hold. I, I haven't, I'm, I've never barbecued so much in my life. I won't lie to you. So, uh, <laughs> So, all right. So, uh, Jesse, you got the floor. Tech tip. What do you got for us? Hey, guys. Um, I did have a slide uh, somewhere in there um, as a little preview. But what I've been doing is I've been slowly building out the KWSA Technology Facebook page. And, uh, no, there it is. So, the uh, Pivot Playbook is one of the things that I've been adding. So, as KW, uh, KWU still uh, – releases all this information, I wanted to give us a hub. And the reason why I wanted to give us this hub is because I've noticed that on the other pages, KW Command, all those other helpful uh, Facebook pages, they, they actually get pretty inundated with a lot of activity. And I see a lot of questions get asked and then they kind of fall off and they get lost in everything. So with the KWSA um, Facebook technology page, I kind of wanted to create this central hub just for us so that we can talk about our successes, bring up some questions and help each other out through that entire process and getting into command and any of the other technology um, that we also have as a, as a brokerage, as a, as our KD, one KDB stick uh, family. So yeah, definitely. If you haven't yet joined the um, Facebook group, KDB state technology um, it's there for you. Uh, join it. There's a lot of resources and things will be added as we go through this here. I've been having talks with Big Dan and I've actually mentioned a couple of things to Heather as well that I am I have a list of about 25 videos that I'm going to begin creating to have as a reference for everybody uh, to access at any time um, on their own. Um, a lot of how to's, a lot of how uh, how to do things specifically in certain modules. It's um, yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be over the next few weeks that I'll be recording these videos. Um, but right now it's in the planning phase. So jump on in, guys. All right, perfect. I love that. Like comments over here on that um, on that pivot. And that is just for Southern Arizona. And it's a gr private group, uh, Jesse? Yes, it's just for us. All right, good. I haven't. I don't think I've been on there. I need to go look. Am I a uh, member? If, I just re if, they if they're not on there, do they just um, go in there and look for it and then request to become a group member? Uh, yeah, that's all that they got to do. I'm actually going to add the link to the Facebook page here in the chat um, so everybody can click on that link and get joined up. And the name of it is called the Pivot Play. If they go in there and search under Pivot, the Pivot Playbook, that's all they need to look for? Yeah, so there's a file section within the Facebook page, and the Pivot Playbook will be a part of that. We also, okay. I have also built out topics within the page. So if they're looking for something specifically, um, it should be in that topic. And you just put what I was actually looking for in the chat box. So thank you. Yep. All right, perfect. All right, so um, Culture Committee. I know we got Kimmy on here. I know Donna's on here. I don't think Tracy's on. I think she's taking a listing. Um, so go ahead. Y'all have the floor. Okay, I unmuted myself, um, so I'll go in. We have an updated flyer that uh, Kayla has completed for us. Red Day is two weeks from tomorrow, so Thursday, May 14th. We have the t-shirts ordered, so those should be printed and ready for everybody who ordered one to pick up um, by late next week. And Michael, if I'm wrong on that, you can chime in and correct me, please. And um, we have finalized our location for Northminster Presbyterian. Jay, is that what it's called? Correct. Thank you. Um, so we're going to do the item drop off. We're going to be on site at the church to do the item drop off um, on the 14th from 10 to 2. And then we will disperse the items um, amongst our 
our uh, participants that are connected with the different or uh, nonprofits that we're that we're supporting. Um, we've got the flyers so that you can print those out and start using them for your lead gen. Start using them to connect with your sphere. Uh, with your clients so that you can start setting up your collections um, specifically for uh, the, the drop off on the 14th. Uh, Catalina Title has graciously helped sponsor our shirt. So they're going to be uh, represented on our shirts. And thank you, Colleen and Kathy, for that. And uh, Cindy has a list of everybody that ordered the shirt Cindy and Heather do so that's going to be added to your bill you don't have to pay for that up front is that correct Cindy that is correct yes okay so really for red day guys it's about um, you know giving you guys the tools to use this as an opportunity to give where you live and connect with the people in your um, client pool in your sphere in your database reach out to them um, there's a wide range of um, options that they can donate with from canned good items, non-perishables, gift cards. There's, we're still accepting monetary donations, um, uh, personal supply items that they can use for some of the nonprofits. So there's, there's a lot of option there to allow people to help us support those in need. Are there any questions or anything else that you guys would need? information of right now is um donna mentioned uh, about the blood drive that's not part of red yep. is that correct so the blood drive is separate we kind of scheduled it in correspondence with red day um doing both in may so the blood drive is next week it's tuesday the 5th at jv and thursday the 7th here at klp and the links donna and i have shared on facebook and um we can email those out if you need them i think that I think that uh, Facebook has been more successful for us with this. Um, and when I looked this morning specifically at KLP, I want to say there was still like eight or nine slots available to donate. So the blood drive is um, really just another way that we can give back and it's a free donation. All you're doing is giving your time and your blood. And um, the, the Red Cross really needs that. And then the following week is gonna be on the on actual Red Day is when we do our collection to disperse the items that we're asking everybody to reach out for um, so that we can get those to the nonprofits that we're supporting. All right, you guys, I think it's really important that you know that the links to sign up are through the Red Cross site. Nobody at any front desk in any office is registering anybody and if we don't fill it, they'll open it to the public again, and it is the same days as Bold Pivot. So if you sign up and you're part of Bold Pivot, make sure that you can do both. <laughs> so, uh, got it. And we just did it. Somebody asked a question on here. They donated last the last month. Can they donate again? I'm not a doctor. I don't know. You may have I that. Like I was going to say, I believe it's six or eight weeks. So Six no. or eight weeks in between. I don't know. Okay, got it. Six or eight weeks. Sorry, it's, it's fifty-three <laughs> days. Fifty-three days. Thanks, Kim. Blood. I was gonna say, where's Larry? I know he knows this math. Yeah, Larry, do it again. Again, you were real light, Larry. On your uh, it's it's fifty-three days for blood. It's it's seven days to ten days for platelets, but for blood, it's a fifty-three day wait. Got it. There you go. And Cindy, it. there there is a question. Is it too late to order red day shirts since you're handling that? Can you? Uh, we are putting in a rush order today for a couple of people. If you text me, if you put my, I'll put my cell phone number, text me your name and your order. I will add it to the list, but I need that by noon today, 30 minutes. Just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> also for the math, um, I did talk with the, uh, the, the producer of them and uh, he's, he just wants me to have a final number by Friday so we can actually add more on if we want. Um, as of right now, there's nine, left from the order I originally placed. So if anybody has any, um, if anybody wants it, just let me know, uh, shoot me an email or text. And I, I put it on the uh, KWSA Facebook page and you can also contact me through that. Can yeah, they're, 12, for me, they're, Mike? they're $12 a piece. Uh, we originally committed to a minimum order of 40 and and um, Michael basically came to me and said, hey, if we don't sell them, I'll, I'll eat it. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't let them do that. You'll know that. And they sold like, 
really quick. So there's yeah, yeah, like, really like exactly. and a half, yeah. Like a, so there's <laughs> nine left. Um, I order these to have because you know even when the virus is gone, we're gonna do things and and where it's dirty and things like that. I'm gonna keep these. So um, and if you'll notice, because the only only thing I have to claim to fame on this whole thing is I was one that put hashtag COVID nineteen. Uh, on the t-shirts they do duplicate it there that's my only claim to fame on this whole thing so uh well if i can just share i want to just um publicly thank michael because he's fronting the shirts he helped design the shirts he's taking care of getting those for us um he found the masks it was his idea i do ask anybody that's going to be working with me on red day at the church doing donations to wear a mask um, specifically just to show that we're supporting other people's concerns we're not going to we're not going to put any concerns out there for them to do their drop-offs. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's little things like that that are helping us kind of spread our message and still be able to contribute to the community and represent as KWSA. So thank you, Michael, for, for taking on all of that. Yeah, I like it. That, yeah that, that, that was my same logic behind it as well. I, I wanted it. Um, like I said, the, the minimum order was 40, so I'm like, we're, let's just uh, have faith in everybody that everybody's going to want it. Um, as far as when they're going to be available, we are pushing to have them by the 8th or the 11th at the latest. Um, that's why we need to know by Friday if there's any other extras that we should order or if put guys, in the order. And if you do commit, please honor system, pay for them. You know, I, don't, I know I have to say it. I'll do it anyways. If you do commit, Michael's been a great team player on this. And, Michael, you're, you brought your talents to this area so we appreciate it on, on what you're doing y'all ever seen what he does go go to his facebook and watch some of the things he does something on when he does those big rap vehicles so all right so jay uh before we i saw pat mancuso was on jay before we start why don't you uh lay out um and give uh take the screen away for uh for jay if you don't mind heather and jay why don't you walk us through our may calendar and how it's all about bold pivot pat's gonna be doing, teaching to us so uh you know he'll bring up bold pivot like i do though uh, so Jay, why don't you tell us about May real quick? Certainly, absolutely. Yeah, we are shifting gears starting next Monday. Um, you're going to see the the same eight to eight thirty ramp up per, uh, uh, scripts and role play time. So if you've been participating in that, that's that's going to continue on. You're going to see bold uh, the bold live stream is Tuesday and Thursdays from eleven to one. And then there's bold coaching that Pat and David are going to discuss in just a few minutes. Make sure you stay in tune with that. We're going to continue with our Tech Tuesday. Very important piece of the puzzle. It's going to be Tuesdays at 1.30. And then uh, uh, Lisa is going to maintain her broker time uh, Thursdays at 1.30. So Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1.30 to 2.30, you're going to have Tech and broker. And then on Mondays, uh, you're going to have bold pivot KWSA style. So David is going to be leading us in that time. You're going to want to take a part of that. Everything, the month of May is about bold. And bold pivot. Thank you, sir. Bold pivot. And uh, I'm excited to hear them talk about uh, just the mindset that we all need to be moving into if we're not there already and the market of the moment and very uh, clear directive of where we're at. So I'm excited about that. I hope you guys are excited. Stay tuned for two different areas. You can always check 1kwsa.com for our weekly schedule. And then uh, Kayla Shinnick has been sending a daily uh, class reminder. And so you need to uh, make sure um, that you're, you're paying attention to that email. And Jesse uh, answered, we're with bold. Uh, we're we're going to do one uh, tech. So command like a boss will be that uh, Tuesday class. So during so the month of May, we'll be we'll be putting it out the visual. Uh, Jay kind of wrote it out earlier today on what it looks like. I like it. Um, and it's all about bold pivot, guys. 100% bold pivot in. Doesn't mean it's the only thing. Team meetings are moved to 9 a.m. on Wednesdays. Uh, and you'll see a little bit less of a rev up, script practice in the morning, things like that. So, uh, and Monday, and this is going to lead into Pat, Monday, one to two is bold pivot southern arizona launch we're doing a launch party that right there all of us that are being a bold pivot are going to get together for one hour and launch it off for that mo next monday may the 4th be with you may the 4th is going to be uh, a bold pivot launch from one to two on monday so get get signed up in there so without further ado as a lot of y'all saw him the other day uh come on and he offered it we hit our number 
We had, it was tight. We hit our 50. It was, it was tight. Pat kept, checked up on me. I won't lie to you. And we hit it. We're up to about 90-something right now for registering for Bold Pivot. And it's a lot. We need to be here. Honestly, guys, if we can do 100 to $799, we should be able to do $299. Oh, so, yeah. Pat, without further ado, you got the floor. Thanks for joining us, man. Well, hey, first of all, a high five, you guys. Congratulations. What a great job, man. High five. Woohoo! Let's hear it. Woohoo! Okay, now where's your energy? Do I got to go back to again? Take yourself off of mics. Take yourself yeah. off of mute. Put your cameras on. Come on. Oh, there you go. I mean, I was thinking you had more That's energy so for crying out loud. Wow. Hey, Pat, last, last week when you did our quarterly meeting, and my uh, our MCA Heather, who was running the, the dashboard, you told everybody to take it off mic. She freaked out a little bit. She told me later on, just we'll let you know. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Get them outside their comfort zone, right? I get it, Heather. I apologize. So, um, so ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to start with a story today, and and actually two of them, and and there's a by design story around this. I want to share with you, and and David knows this as a bold coach. Every bold room we come out of impacts us. And in some bold rooms, it impacts us to a high level that we'll never forget. So there was a bold room in Charleston, uh, North Carolina. I think it's North. I always forget. Anyways, Charleston. And a gentleman stands up at the end of step seven, and he says, I want to share a story with you. He says, you know, when I came into bold, I was angry. He says, I was super angry because... For the six weeks leading up to Bold, my team leader, people in the market center, my friends, everybody was on my butt, he didn't say that, to get into Bold. He said something else, by the way. And he said, and I pushed back, I fought him. In fact, I will tell you, he says, I was angry at my team leader, team leaders in the room. And he says, and the, what, the reason I'm standing up today is I wanna share with you that in seven months in real estate, I did three transactions. In the seven weeks of bold, I did 13. And I am so grateful that those people took a stand for me and cared enough. So I want you to write the words down, take a stand. Write those words down, take a stand. Now this applies to yourself. It applies to your family. If you have kids, as a parent, you sometimes take a stand for them. I want you to take, write that word down, take a stand. I'm going to come back to it in a second. Let me tell you another story. Never forget this. Tampa, Florida. Girl stands up. She's from Russia. First step to bold. She didn't have any money. We raised scholarship money in the room for her. She had three children. She'd been in real estate for like 90 days, hadn't sold any real estate, and she had three children, single mom. She came into real estate. We got her scholarship in that bold room. She did 13 transactions over the seven weeks. Now, guys, if people in that room wouldn't have taken a stand for her and people in the other room wouldn't have taken a stand for him, you understand their lives would be in a totally different position than they were at that time and are today. Make sense, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, so why do I start with that? Well, I'll tell you why. David, how many agents do you have in the two market centers combined? About 400. Okay. We're going to do something right now, and I'm going to give you one minute to do it. So I'm going to ask you to all do it that quick. There's 80 people on this call, which means there's how many not on the call? 120. 420. 320. 320. Oh, I thought you had 100 more agents today. 320. Yeah, 320. Yeah, math is not one of those sharp things for us as real estate agents. I want you to pull out your phone right now. Pull it out right now. And I want you to text somebody that's not on this call right now because you care enough about them to take a stand for them and say, hey, we got some great stuff going on in this call. I'd love you to join us. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that. Real quick text. Hey, Bob, miss you, missing you on the call. Love to have you join us. We're doing some great stuff. Right now, do that for me, please. Somebody you care about, somebody who's in your profit share tree, somebody you know that's not here. Now guys, even, even if you, every one of you does at least one person, and even if we get 20 more people on, that, on this call, it means we can impact 20 more lives. Say yes. 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 Guys, that's what our job is as real estate agents. That's what our job is as parents. That's what our job is as coaches. 
Because see, I'm here and you're here. And if we had five or 10 or 15 or 20 more people, that's more people we can impact. Now, is this any different than your database? Yes or no? Not really. No. Not really. When you can add people to your database and somebody, I'm not gonna watch the participants. So Heather, David, you announce as people join. Let's see how many we can get on the call before the end by you taking a stand. I bet we're gonna get more than one. And even if we got one, that was one more than we had when we started. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna to talk to you about mindset today. The foundational fundamental part of bold is mindset. It's mindset. And we got somebody who's, there you go, thank you. It's mindset. So write this down. 90% of success is mindset. Now, in shift, Gary talks about his first tactic. Who knows what his first tactic is? Hey, put me down for two masks. Get real, get right. Get real, get right. Thanks, Jay. Write that down. Get real, get right. He says you have to make two shifts first. He says you have to make a mental shift. That's your mindset. And then you have to make an action shift. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna to talk to you about how your brain works today to empower you. These are the type of things that we're gonna do in Bold Pivot. Because we've done them in Bold, we did them in Bold 2.0, and we're gonna do them in Bold Pivot because this is what causes transformation. A mindset change first is what's needed to change your actions. What's needed first? Mindset. Mindset change. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you our challenge. And this is a challenge for all of us, me, David, every one of you on this call. You're not built to make mindset changes naturally. See, in order to have success, you have to do something different. And in order to do it different, you probably have to do something that's uncomfortable. So let me give you an example of this. I wanna give you an example right up front. Have any of you ever, ever had a listing expire? Anybody? <laughs> I need a role play partner. Anybody? Who's going to role play with us? I know we got some good agents on here. I'm looking up the list. Well, maybe none of them have ever had a listing expire, David. It's been a good market for a long time, Pat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, David, you're going to role play with me. You got it. We don't like to waste time. We like to take action. So David, you have this listing that's overpriced, right? Okay. Now you're fearful of having a conversation with the seller. Why? Fear of rejection, making them upset. Yeah, you know, disappointing them. Is it possible maybe you don't know what to tell them the price of the home to yeah. get it sold? Yes, absolutely. And that might be embarrassing? Yeah, it could be embarrassing. Is it possible that maybe you can't meet their needs? And so instead of telling them and being real with them, you told them the price that the house wasn't going to sell at. Now that rubber met the road. Yes. Now, David, that's uncomfortable, right? Agreed. And there's some fear there, right? Uh, yep. Now, David, let's look at it from another perspective. If that house doesn't sell, tell me about the consequences, the impact on you and the sellers if that house doesn't sell. Well, it depends on their big why. Of course, we're talking generally, but if a seller doesn't sell his home, they're not going to, if it's a move up, they're not going to get to the move up. If, if it's a job change, they're not going to make a job change. If they're needed to move or sell because they need the, the, the cash to live on, they may end up going into foreclosure. Uh, there's all kinds of things that can be possibilities and they don't sell that house. So David, tell me about the impact on you and your family by that house not selling. Well, $9,000 commission is a big deal right now <laughs> as a stimulus of its own. Would there be something, David, because that $9,000 didn't come into your bank account that you may not be able to do because you don't have that additional 9,000? Absolutely. Tell me one thing, if you could think of something that you may not be able to do as a family with your kids because you have $9,000 less. Tell my wife something we want to do to the house. And if you've met my wife, you don't tell her no. <laughs> so that would be really uncomfortable. Uh, yes, be able to be, be not to have as much for my family or, you know, have to cut back and, you know, the market's down and have to cut back in a lifestyle or things like that. Yeah. So David, David, you would never intentionally disappoint your wife, would you? No. So let me ask you this. If you compared the uncomfortableness of the conversation with the seller and the uncomfortableness of the conversation with your wife, which one is more uncomfortable? More uncomfortable is with my wife. <laughs> Yet right now you're unwilling to have the conversation with the seller and you're placing more discomfort there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the point. Every one of us, I'm gonna take you through a quick exercise. Every one of us on this call, write this down, is a bill to avoid pain. We avoid the things that we perceive are painful. And we do it all the time. And we don't even realize it. I'll be a little transparent with you. David hasn't even heard this. And yet, as coaches, we're pretty transparent with each other because we don't have anything to hide. We got on a call with Gary on Friday. And, you know, Gary's one of our coaches, and we get to have time with him sometimes. And I had this aha moment in the call. Ever since COVID-19 took place, our bold world for our coaches has changed dramatically. We were one week away from going out to the largest launch in the history of March of Bold, over 90 locations. Every one of the Bold coaches' incomes was cut by 88% in one day. Now, guys, our brain, my brain, went to, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to change my goals for the year. And for three weeks, that's what I focused on. And Gary on Friday said something and it struck me. And he said, he says, I've got agents who instead of saying I'm going to change my goals, they're going to change their what? Their actions. Their actions, their activities. Remember, which one is easier to change, goals or activities? Goals. Well, David, that's a trick question. Which one logically would be easier to take, change? Activity. Goals. Yeah, goals is easier to change because it's just a number on paper. Correct. Activities is what will fight. And ladies and gentlemen, I was fighting it. I was going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop my income down for the rest of the year. And on Friday, when Gary said that he was talking about agents that did that, I went, huh, I ain't doing that. And that was a mindset shift first. What type of shift was it? Mindset. And then actions follow that. Guys, we all fall into these traps. And here's our challenge today. Every second of every day, something is happening in your world. Today, this is open. Tomorrow, you got to wear a mask. Today, this is closed. Tomorrow, you got to do this. And our brain responds to these every second of every day, and we can't stop it. So I want to take you through an exercise right now. I want you to number one, two, three, four, vertically. One, two, three, four. And I guarantee you, if you follow us, follow me in this exercise, it will change your life. I guarantee it if you're honest. Line number one, be honest. I want you to write down an action right now that you're not taking in your life or your business that you should be taking, that if you were taking, you would be experiencing higher level results. So write down one action that if you were taking it today, either life or business related, that if you were taking it, you'd be experiencing higher level business, higher level life, higher level relationships. Be specific, one activity. Now, as an example, let's use the seller listing. The one activity that I'm not taking today that I should be taking is setting up a conversation with the sellers to get a price adjustment to sell. That would be my activity for illustration purposes for you all. Do y'all have one activity written down? Say yes. 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 Okay. Yes. And by the way, everybody on here, um, I, I'm going to pattern interrupt everybody for a second. We're not talking about bold pivot right now. I just want to, I want to pattern and interrupt everybody because I, people get into what's this going to lead to. We're going to sell bold pivot. Yeah. Eventually he's going to talk about bold pivot and getting in there. This is about literally making a change in your thinking about something that you're avoiding. So yeah. Pat, I just thought I'd well, pattern. Well, well, yeah, David, thank you. And yet the reality of it is if you're not signed up for bold pivot right now, then it's because of your thinking, right? Yeah. Understand everything starts with your thinking. You guys, this, these are the type of exercises that are life transformational. And that's why people go into bold and go into bold pivot because we change their lives. Yeah. Question number two. Thanks, David. Question well, number two. I want you to write down what is the pain or the discomfort that you associate with taking that action. So whatever you wrote down in line number one, you're not taking the action. There is some pain, some association you have with taking that action. Write it down. Be specific. Be as specific as you can. Let's go back to our example of seller listing. Pay, David described the pain before. I'm embarrassed. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to price it at. 
I have to actually go meet them face to face. Maybe I'm going to have an integrity issue because I told them it should sell here when I really should have told them it was sold here, yet it wasn't strong enough in my scripts and I needed a seller listing. There's some pain you associate with not taking that action. Line number three, write down the consequence of not taking the action. So line number one says, here's the action I'm not taking. Line number two says, here's what the pain associated with the action that I'm not taking. Line number three, let's talk about the consequence. And I want you to go deep on that one. Don't just say, if you wrote down lead gen, I'm not making any money. No, let's go real deep. Let's talk about what it means to not have money to do things. Let me give you an example of that one. Let's say that you don't have money and one of the first things amazingly that people cancel is insurances. Life insurance, health insurance, car insurance. No. Guys, that is absolutely the last thing you want to cancel in a pandemic are things like that because this only raises stress level in certain areas. Now think about the pain if something were to happen because you didn't lead generate because you didn't have enough money to pay those bills. Now, are some of you getting a little bit uncomfortable, yes or no? Yes. And you should be because guys, you won't make a change until you get comfortable being what? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. And our job as coaches is to help you get through that. We'll get all through it. Guys, I was uncomfortable until Gary said something. I went, whoa, that makes perfect sense. Line number four. Write down what you gain by taking the action. And there I want you to go a little deep as well. So I gain a sold listing. That produces $9,000 worth of income. That allows me to take my family on a week trip to Disney. My two kids get to remember that experience. Just write down, what do you gain by getting over that limited belief, that mindset? Be as specific as you can. Now, would you look at line number two and line number three? I want you to tell me which line is emotional, two or three? Three. Jason two. says three. Does anybody else have a different answer? I say two. Yeah, see, two is two. the more emotional. Three is the logical. So in other words, if I make my decisions on emotion, I'm probably always not going to have what I desire to have in my life. If I put logic in there, logically, the consequences to my family are way more painful than the emotional price I think I'm going to pay to go get that seller listing dropped in price. Make sense, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, yep. so now I want you to do something, and this ties into pivot. I want you to write the words down, I am. I am. I am is the present tense of an affirmation. I am good looking. Does it have to be accurate? <laughs> <laughs> I am healthy. Okay. I am happy. I am fortunate. I am grateful. I am are the most powerful words you can use. Now, after I am, I want you to write the words committed to. And I want you to fill in after committed to. I am committed to take and fill in that action that you have been avoiding to take that now you're committed to take. Now that you realize you are focusing the pain, the discomfort in the wrong place. And then add the word today. Ooh, today. Yeah, hello, hello, Donna. I love that emotional response. Today? Today. Yeah, highly successful people, Donna, don't wait till tomorrow when they have an aha moment. <laughs> so I want to stop because I want to I wanna talk for just a brief bit about Pivot. Yet, yeah, tell me what, give me a couple of ahas about what you experienced. Real quick. I'll give you my aha to start off with. Obviously, I know what exercise you did, and I love it. I love how you did it. Um, the first one is just the, the small adjustment that Donna made a reaction on uh, that we've not done before. You added that in the today. Yeah. That, was, that was an impactful I am statement yeah. to put it on right now. Well, and David, here's why, guys, and this is why Bold Pivot is so important. If, if you come to Bold Pivot and you don't take action, it's going to be great entertainment for you. And that's awesome and good for you, and you'll be in a better place. Guys, this is about a market to take action. Jason, did we make you cry? Yes, sir. I thought we did. Good for you. 
I, Jason, I, you know what? They did, David didn't tell you my reputation. I always make people cry. Usually it's women. However, now, yes, I made a guy cry. <laughs> yeah, you got to be a little sissy in the dude, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Jason, are you willing to share how we impacted you? Um, yeah. You don't have to. No, no, I will. Um, okay, what was the action that you wrote down that you're not taking? That I'm not studying enough. Uh, you're not studying the, enough? My number one was because uh, I'm not licensed yet and I'm not okay. studying enough. I find a lot of distractions. Okay. And then uh, the number two is that uh, what am I scared of? I'm going to make you cry again. Knowing that I'm letting my mom and my, my wife down. That's what J Jason, you know what? Can I share something with you while you take a breath? Yeah. You are going to impact people's lives on this call today, I assure you. <laughs> because you're putting yourself out there and when people put themselves out there they absolutely break through ceilings and Jason you're experiencing what we absolutely need to experience to break through those ceilings is we need to get clarity on who we're impacting and how that's disappointing them and guys and Jason it was the same thing I did I went I'm, I'm going to drop my income which means I'm going to have to go like David talked about going to his wife I'm going to have to go to my wife and go hey honey I'm sorry we're not going to be able to do that and I'm telling you I ain't having that conversation because she would kill me so Jason so what action are you going to take from this exercise that I'm committed that I'm uh, studying a lot more and no more distractions okay can I help you Jason yes sir I don't like the a lot more and more distractions. I want you to commit okay. to specifically how many hours a day you're going to commit to studying right now. Four. Okay, and you're going to have them time blocked. Yes, sir. Who do you know in this group that 10, 15 minutes after this call, you can send your time block schedule to? Big Dan. Big Dan. Dan, Big Dan, I want you to hold them accountable. Within 15 minutes, you should be able to have a schedule put together with the studying four hours a day in it. When do you take your test, Jason? Um, it's not available the state 18th. Right. Okay. Jason, are you enrolled in Pivot? Yes, sir. Good for you. Good for you. I love that. Okay, David, we didn't talk anything about Pivot, and guys, I just talked to everything about Pivot. Yeah. If you look at what happened to Jason and you don't understand that's what, what's going to happen to you in Pivot, by the way, Jason, did we help move you through? Did we help you break through a ceiling? Absolutely, yes. Pat, can I interrupt? You go. Jason, go read the chat box. Okay. You're going to see what this company is about. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Thank you, Larry. That's amazing. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Very cool. Wow. Guys, you understand, and this is the last thought, if you're not enrolled in Bull Pivot yet, you can learn everything that I just taught you to do, and you can start having impacts on your family, on your kids. True story, true story, I'll leave you with this, I have two minutes. My daughter, my 12-year-old daughter in this whole COVID thing decided she wanted to start a YouTube channel. And did I tell you this? No. Okay, so I'm in my studio now, and, and she's now coming into my office once a week. So two weeks ago, she's 12, and my 24-year-old works with us, and uh, she comes in, she says, Dad, I need you to help me set up my YouTube channel description. I'm like, okay. And so I just asked her five questions. I say, answer these five questions, and that'll be everything you need for your YouTube channel. She goes, okay, cool. So then she's an artist. She paints this stuff. Is she? Oh, she's just amazing. So she painted me a, 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 a print, and it's in my office. And I'm on a call the or I'm on a call the other day, and, and I was using this as an example of the limiting or unlimiting beliefs of kids, and yet they have some too. And she said, Dad, who's gonna pay me money for my print? And I said, Honey, there'll be a plenty of people who will buy your print. I don't know how much they'll pay, I'll reassure you. So she had a limiting belief. So the other day I was on a regional call for South Florida, and we were talking about mindset. And I put the print up in front of the group. Some guy goes, I'll give her a hundred bucks. Guys, she painted that print yesterday. It's an original because she didn't want me to sell mine because she thought I was going to sell mine, the one that she painted for me. Guys, you can have an impact on people's lives. It's amazing what you can do when you understand how your brain works because your brain is like their brain. Give me one aha, and then we're ready to go. Are we ready to go? We're done, David? How are you doing, aha? Uh -huh. We're good. Their, their chat box is going, so I, I see good stuff.
Give me an aha, guys. What do y'all think? And then I have one last thought for you. One last okay. thought. The reason I laughed about today was because I said I was going to cut carbs while I was eating peanut butter pretzels. <laughs> I love those. The day. Oh, it's amazing how it's uh, so relative right in your face, isn't it? <laughs> I, had a, I had a big aha, Pat. First of all, thank you so much. I got so much out of this already. And that is that even though I've done uh, several bolds, uh, I have limiting beliefs that have lingered that I yeah. thought that I had conquered. And I, yeah. I don't know if part of that is being inside the house, but I think that would be an excuse because I'm really high energy. So yeah. I'm really moving a lot. But what I noticed is that there's still work for me to do on some past things that I thought were taken care of. So thank you. Well, Colleen, remember we said we all have more potential. We all have more potential and you're in a different place and Bold is at a different place. So guys, here's the last thought I wanna share with you. Every one of you who's registered for Pivot, high five, congratulations. Those of you that are not, please go get registered. Your market center is gonna have a heck of a May with you in Pivot. I would ask you to do this. Go find somebody and scholarship them. Go find somebody and half scholarship them. If all of you who are registered for Pivot right now got one person, one person, imagine what your numbers in your market center would do. So who's not registered for Pivot yet? So just say I. Reese? I. No, hold on. Reese? Reese, will you take yourself off mute? Can you take Reese? You look like Santa Claus to me. I am. I love it. You know what? I love being good to Santa Claus because Santa Claus is always good to me. So Reese, I'm going to sponsor you for Bold Pivot. That's great. Are you willing to commit? I have got a lot of load right here taken care of. You well, So the way I didn't hear, are you willing to commit to Bull Pivot? I can't commit. I've got other responsibilities to take care of. Wow. Okay, I get that. That's awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you one last chance before I scholarship somebody else. You can give it to someone who really okay, can do I, it. I absolutely will do that. Somebody say I, who's not registered. I. Okay, I, Stephanie. I need to see your face, Stephanie, not your picture. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> real you, Steph. All yeah. right. It's kind of a hot mess right now. That's yeah, okay. We <laughs> all are, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, are you all in? I am all in. All in, you're 100% committed because I don't like to throw my money around to anybody who doesn't value it more than I do. I will value it more than you do. Okay. Now, Stephanie, I'm going to ask you to do one thing after I sponsor you. Will you go find somebody else to join you? I will. Okay. Awesome. David, I'll reach out to you. We'll get Stephanie. Guys, go take a stand for somebody like I just did. I'm not even in your market center. Stephanie, you go make it happen in bull pivot. David, thanks so much. I got to run. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Bye, All right. Jay, Jay, anything else to close out? Negative. That was awesome. Uh, I, I would just point out somebody needs to grab this recording, especially the end there with Jason, and we need to send it out via email to all of our agents. Cool. Powerful I, got stuff. Couple, I got a couple other videos I'll be posting as well um, that we got there marketing based as well. You'll see it. So, guys, so can I add? Can I add one thing really quick? Since there is some moving that's going on at JV, I just want to put out on this meeting for the JV agents who are on here: the mailboxes are moved. If you are looking for your mailbox, um, ask Caitlin. They are actually next to the ALC pictures in the four drawer filing cabinet. Individuals are on the top, teams are on the second drawer. So they just move, they're in the same location as they were before, they're just in a new, new uh, holder. David, I have a question for you. As far as bold pivot, what are the coaches corner? What exactly does that entail? Well, if everybody want, if anybody, uh, a meeting is quote over, and if anybody wants to stay on, I'll go ahead and do some screen sharing, and I'll share that. This will be a voluntary if you want to know about it. So, um, coach's corner, and we go to this, the PowerPoint. I had it up in case Pat wanted it, so that makes it easy. Thanks, Lois. Is uh, what do you see? What is bold pivot? What is bold pivot? All right, my screen is weird right now. Hang on, screen one second. I'm gonna go like that. There you go. Full screen. Yes. All right. So um, uh, this is this is the 
obviously these are the bullet points of uh, what's going to be in bold pivot mindset, obviously script. Um, hey, David, can you swap yeah. your displays really quick? Because we're we get to see the um, presenter view. It did come as a presenter view. Yeah. All right, hang on. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, I guess. How's that? Uh, just go up to the top where it says swap displays on the presenter side. It's fine. I can't. It's not showing that You're online. Good. It's fine. You're good. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I, I, I see what you're saying, but it, it's not going to change this. Thank you, though. Uh, scripts, expenses, down, down, double down on leads. It's going to, there's also going to be social media things in there for it. Command database uh, teachings. And here's what um, Lois was asking. All right. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, everybody is the uh, the live stream. Jay said a while ago, so I'm repeating it. So from 11 to 1, Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to get coaches. They're going to be live streaming presentations just like Pat did today. Um, and you're going to get Pat, James Shaw, Steve Schleter, some of the greatest coaches we have. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays is what's called the Coaches Corner. Now, the Coaches Corner, and this is what I am actually helping run, is I'm one of three of us of the head coaches are running and, 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 and basically uh, – pushing the coach's corner section. What's going to happen is on Wednesday and Friday, you're going to go in kind of like family reunion where it's going to have different, uh, you can have different subjects that you can choose from. So you have a list of subjects, lead generation. I, we don't have the subject. We'll have those this afternoon. But there'll be different subjects. You can click on it. It'll take you to that coach's room. And then they'll be coaching with that coach in that room. If you're not, if it's if something, oh, you know what? I want something else. Go out of it, pick another link go to a different room with a different coach. If I got it, if the room is full, you're not going to get in. You'll pick a different room. We will have multiple rooms with multiple coaches. Remember, we have 50 coaches, and um, I'll be one of the coaches in the coach's corner, be a bold coach at that moment, uh, doing my job in that coach's corner. So, Lois, I think that answers your question. So, uh, Mondays, though, it, um, uh, we're doing one hour only on Mondays from 1 to 2. That is Keller Williams, Southern Arizona, bold pivot. And so that is, we're going to be talking about our numbers. We're going to do an accountability. We're going to talk about, you know, listings. Take, we're talking about basic structure of numbers in there. Not only numbers, but really just keeping us moving forward on here. So um, that's our one hour only. One hour solid, no more. Right in there about bold pivot as a group for only for Southern Arizona. So live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Coaches Corner with more focus on some the group coaching to get the coaching aspect of it. And then localized with Keller Williams, Southern Arizona on Mondays from one to two. That's bold pivot. That helped Lois. Also guys, everybody who signed up for bold pivot, make sure you sign up for the bold pivot Facebook page. Um, there are bold coaches that have monitor this that are on duty to answer questions. So that I answer questions. Um, you go get as a referral source. There's right now 15,000 people that are already a member of the Bold Pivot Facebook page. David, are we going to move the office meetings to a different time since Coach's Corner inter interferes? Yeah, we said it early, but it was really light. We're going to set a calendar out, Sean. You're right on. 9 a.m. on Wednesdays is when we're going to do it. Same day, just earlier um, to do. And it's going to be very update-based, if that makes sense, Sean. Because um, obviously, you know, I mean uh, – my mission, I won't lie to you guys. I just think if I could figure out a way to fund it, I would. I mean, everybody who signs up a bull fit pivot gets $40 waived on their office bill. So we're funding a lot of it. Anybody's in there. I'd love to have, I just would love to have everybody in it. Focus Market Center for May. It would, we would take market share like we'd never seen before if we were all just right in there doing it. So, um, so team meetings, to answer questions, John, is Wednesdays. The decision was, and Miss Cindy's idea, I won't lie to you, Cindy said, let's don't change the day and time, let's just change the time. So, all right. Uh, before we go, we got some more questions on here. Uh, Monday's bold pivot on there's on a one to two. Yeah, got some things in there. I think we're good. I think I've answered some of these questions already. Guys, I know we're off. Y'all stuck around. That was your choice. So I appreciate you being here. Um, any other questions on bold pivot? Uh, shoot away. No? Okay. Looking forward to it. What's that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. I'm excited. It's a new it's a, it's a new world. And by the way, if he says the bold coaches, 
Uh, we're not – bowl coaches didn't go out in March, June, and we're not going out in August. That's three of five launches minimum that bowl coaches are losing out on. So, yes, I'm really proud of the coaches. And a lot of people ask where the money goes. A lot of the – part of that money, not all of it, like less than half, goes to all the bowl coaches are just splitting it up, to be honest. That's how they're, they're uh, making a little bit of money in this time. They're, and it's a big cut. And I'm being transparent there of what we're doing. You all know that was a big part of my life, uh, income, while we were growing in Southern Arizona. So, um, I know this will make a difference on market and take – and guess, by the way, Sean – I don't know you didn't ask me, just, um, I just saw your face, <laughs> is uh, guests are allowed. Guests are allowed to do Bold Pivot. Non-KW, it's okay. And they can be a part of the Bold Pivot Facebook page as well. So. And, and yes, um, Bold Pivot Southern Arizona is one from two on Mondays starting the 4th of May. So that was a question in the box, so just clarifying that as well. Every Monday or Every just Monday, not, not just to kick off? Every Monday. Okay. All right, guys, I got to run to another meeting. I apologize. And uh, if there are any other questions, I think, I think staff can answer them. I just want to say thank you, David, for having Pat on there and giving us the value. That's awesome stuff. Thank you, David. Right. Well, if there are no more questions, we'll be ending our meeting. Um, if there are any questions, just feel free to reach out to your staff. Sweet. Have a good day. Bye, guys.